Hey everyone, doing a mic check. This is Grim. Hope you can all hear me. I see Driz Talath in chat. Uh, yep, let me know if you can hear me. Uh, checking to see if this mic works okay. Let me know in chat if you can hear me all right. We can hear you. I'm getting uh, the thumbs up here. Okay. All right, everyone. Give me one second and we'll be right back and I'll be on cam. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all good tonight. Uh, hey, Driz, Burger, Dcash, Kurt. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, it is Wednesday night. Uh, not my usual night to be on. Not that I have a specific time that I ever get on. It's always kind of random for me because of uh, real life stuff. But um, I thought I'd jump on and check out the 3.23 uh, EPTU. So I am actually going to move some windows around here. Bear with me. How's everybody in chat doing though? Everyone have a good week, good weekend, good eclipse day. Were any of you able to check out the eclipse? I was. I was, my backyard is literally in totality. So it was a really cool kind of moment. Let's see. Okay, we're going to launch three point. We're going to launch RSI, uh, the new RSI launcher right now. I'm going to switch over to it in a minute. Um, and we'll just start uh, 323 and check out some of the features. Don't know how long I'll be on tonight, but um, thanks for hanging out. Um, I do have maybe a few little announcements I could I could po uh, or, or talk about here in a little bit. Nothing huge, but a few little cool things. Um well, I guess I'll start with one of them while the game's loading. So you may have saw um, when I had the starting soon, um, you know, image up. Uh, I had I flipped to a Star Jump Patreon um, wallpaper that had both the Ultima and DG360 ships that are in Star Jump Fleet Viewer. They're supporter ships. Um, I ended that kind of promotion phase almost a year ago, I think. Um, and you weren't able to get custom ships in Fleet Viewer anymore. I am going to be opening that back up uh, on our Patreon. So at certain dollar values, you'll get the ability for, for uh, a custom ship to be put into Fleet Viewer. Uh, more info on that soon. Um, we want to be able to use some of those funds um, to pay for some really cool new Star Jump swag and, and some, some really neat stuff that I think you will all really like. Okay. I'm going to switch over. Driz, I hope you're doing well. Hope Ender's doing well. I know he's getting through work. Let's just leave it at that. He's getting through work. I get it. My week has been hell and is I got more hell to deal with this week. So, All right. Uh, nope, that's not what we want. Wrong screen up. Uh, let's see. Okay, stand by everybody. I got to kind of get this reset. Bear with me. We're on the wrong. We're on the wrong screen. Is the problem here? So that's okay. We're gonna flip us to the right screen. There we go. Can we see everything? No, we can't. Let me let me get that fixed up. Kind of drag some stuff around. This is what happens when you don't use OBS in a while. Fernando, how you doing? Hope you're well. 
All right, we are going to dive in, everybody, and check out the character creator. Uh, this is something me and Ender have both been really looking forward to. Um, real quick, though, if I'm sure you have already, but if you haven't, please go check out our YouTube, our, um, which if you're on YouTube right now, you're already on YouTube. Check out the Twitch, follow me on Twitch, follow me on YouTube, um, but also check out our Twitter, follow us over there, or X, whatever you want to call it. Um, really appreciate it. That's where a lot of Star Jump news comes out of. So, all right, let's begin, shall we? Ooh, look at this fancy new screen. I gotta say, this looks pretty nice already. You can kind of tell this is pretty polished. All right. Well, let's get started. Can I rotate? Yep rotate beards look actually really really nice brad hope you're well salute to you thanks for hanging out we're just starting a new character here um textures okay these are just overall skin textures here that are probably applied they dumped your favorite hairstyle which one was that I kind of like uh, this one. A little weathered. I like that. Uh, skin tones are really nice. Okay, yeah, those look. Yeah, it looks really nice. The Julius Caesar cut. Sorry, they dropped it on you. Man, this is this definitely feels. This definitely feels full. Featured. Oh well. Hey, B salute. Hope you're doing well. We're just doing a bit of a character build here. Checking out the character creator eye color. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta say, this is really nice. So you can save, you can load and save. So you can build a a look and then save it. I mean, that alone is really nice. Let's see, let's go to hair. Okay. I kind of do like this hair. Um, it's not bad. This one's not bad either. A little young looking that well they all look kind of young i wish they had more older hairstyles all the all these have the hair of a have a have a have the hair of an 18 year old there we go something like that works but i want to be able to see the hair bounce too check out the new features so we might go back to this one yeah i don't mind that i don't mind that um let's check out the beards though the most important thing there we go Johnny porn star. Yeah, they look really good. Yeah, not bad. I wish you could. Um, my guy looks too young, though. That's the problem. This face. This face is not, not working at all. We gotta do something about that. Uh, let's let's grab a beard here. Well, I got some big beards. I don't need a beard that big. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with like this. But we are gonna go back to the faces. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, where's the one? Can I just select the whole head? No. That's not the face I wanted. How do you do 
Can I select the entire head? That's the question, or is it different parts? I like what they've done here, though. This is real nice. Oh, okay, you can just grab there. That's pretty cool. This guy looks scary. I don't like any of these. Let's randomize. Oops. Where was the random? Oh, that's like instantly better. It looks slightly less scary. Okay. We're going to go with that. Eyebrows. Uh, go with something a little less insane. What is this? Uh, is this hair color? Gotcha. Okay. Driz, what do you think of the character creator? I know you haven't been in Star Citizen in a while. Okay, I don't like that. I don't want to do no hair color. Features, eyes. See, the funny thing is, I don't know if there's a lot of hair I want to change. I like the way he looks. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. I mean, the character creator definitely feels on point. Like, it, it feels final. Like, or final, like, in that you'd, you could, you'd see it in a real game. Yeah, Kavion, um, there's a lot of us like that. Although me and Ender have been playing quite a bit. We've been, um, we have been playing, um, the overdrive event actually been enjoying it a lot um and go to orson uh been enjoying um the overdrive event a lot it's it's got me back playing again me and ender were playing last weekend and um didn't realize we had one final mission in the overdrive sequence and um we immediately got in with uh hangry sarah if you don't know hangry sarah shout out to her fellow streamer um got up with her group she had a big group going we went in there they killed it. We we got through the event. So if the goal was to have people playing and and playing with people out in the community, I think it has been successful uh, in that regard. So um do I have anyone from anyone in chat going to um the Equinox event June first in Columbus? Anyone in chat going to Equinox? I will be there. Um, I've actually found out today that I'll probably be on stage at Equinox doing a, a little bit of a uh, kind of a talk, answering questions on Fleet Viewer and other Star Jump stuff. Kavion says, when you accept mission for overdrive event does the map set a waypoint or something that tells you where to go yes it does it it's not so much a waypoint but it sets a marker and then you have to kind of set grab waypoints near it um and once you get close enough you can jump to it um but yeah once you once you kind of accept the mission it's the the issue is sort of grabbing the missions because several of them are limited to like just one or two players on the server at any one time so grabbing the mission has been a little tricky for some people so yeah kv on you can the cool thing that they did it, they're on phase four now there's already been three missions before phase four and they allow you to catch up um so uh, you could join tomorrow and, and get with a group and get through all fa four phases it does take a while but that leads up to the ability to get a, uh, whoops, I don't have my head tracking up. Um, it gives you the ability to have, um, uh, get a free token that will allow you to upgrade um, to an F7A Mark II Hornet. You can already see the new UI. We can see the mini map, the compass. Oh boy, I can tell this is a brave new world right here. All right, let's try it out here. Oh, look at that mini map. Oh, this is, Kind of groundbreaking. Oh, man. 
Um, this is EPTU. It's open to wave one right now. Um, I am a wave one uh, concierge member or subscriber. I can't remember uh, what they base it off of, but um, yeah. So if you're in uh, wave one, you can get it. All right, let's check out. Oh, wow. Star map, you know, we got to check it out first. There it is. My God, this is going to be, this is going to be groundbreaking. Yep. This is going to change the game for a lot of people. Tells you all the services there. Um, can set a marker for it. Oh man, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be big. Um, let's see, is my oh you know what's happening? My head tracking is not working. Um, sorry, let me adjust the setting here, everyone. Okay, toggle enable general use position. Yes, yes, yes. Disable during interaction. Let's see, disable seated. Um, no. Disable during interaction mode. No. Disable during ADS. No. Disable during Moby Glass. No. I think that's what I wanted. Okay, cool. All right. So let me go back. All right. Let's bring up our Moby Glass again. Oh, yeah. There's our new home screen. All of our um, important information right here. Love how it shows the gravity. That's going to be great. Shows our oxygen, fuel, heart rate, body temperature, overall health. Uh, shows our radiation, exterior temperature, current pressure, um, current atmosphere. I mean, you can tell we're heading into tier two level here. Okay, I can go into more information here about my health. So on the home, so on the home thing, it has these little arrows that will then take you to that, to that specific area. So I guess it'll take me to the VMA. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So, and if I go to, you know, obviously environment, it takes me to health. All works really well. They said the comms wasn't updated yet. Contract, uh, be nice having this new. Um, I don't know. If, are there personal and, and, oh, verified and unverified. So, gotcha. There we go. Cool. Um, maps, again, this is just incredible. Um, shows where I'm currently at. In addition, I have the mini map up here at the top corner of my screen. I mean, that alone, that and the compass is absolutely like a game changer. So, oh, hey, there's Ender. Uh, yeah, uh, everyone, uh, let's pause real quick. Um, Ender just put a Tiltify link in our Twitch chat. Um, definitely go there. Um, uh, that is for um, raising money for St. Jude's uh, for this month and next month. Uh, definitely hit that link, donate to it. Um, it's really appreciated. It goes to um, sick, very sick kids with cancer and their families, help them get through really tough times, help Ender out by um, uh, donating to that. Ender will be at the St. Jude um, event later this month. So uh, big shout out to you, Ender. I can already tell you, man, the maps and the compass here are game changers. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. Bucket of ash. Thank you so much. All right. So let's go back into. Okay. So as our maps again, we can zoom all the way out. I can already tell life is going to be. Oh, life is going to be different for uh, for people in the verse. I can already tell. Zoom in very easily. Everything on the map works really well. Um, pretty sensitive. Um, yep. Easily look around. Click on something. Routing not available, but I can probably set a marker. Uh, looks like I can search. 
So I could type uh, maybe Grim Hex. Boom. And let's see. Does the does it automatically zooms me out? Automatically takes me over to Grim Hex. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Ender. Just wow is kind of the thing to say. Oof. It's yeah, it's really amazing. Um, journal. All of our assets. This is your where all your stuff is. Essentially, this is knickknacks. Um, now it's called assets, which makes a hell of a lot more sense. Um, our rep wallet instead of uh, Mo Trader again just makes a lot more sense. Um, a landing. This is a VMA and vehicles, of course. Vehicles is another one that has not been updated. So. Alright, so let's uh, set out. I love the compass, though, up here. I mean, that alone is, is going to be a huge deal. Okay, and the new interaction system. So now I just got to press F. I don't have to hold it. Captain Thorne, hope you're well. Salute to you. Uh, see, I, I'm holding down F. I just need to hit the button. That does make it a lot easier. That does make it a lot easier. It's going to take some, some getting used to, though. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so on those screens you still hold F because you need to select your floor. Radar not available because we're in the elevator. Radar becomes available. So you can see our mini map up there. Showing us where we are, where we're going, all that good stuff. It's interesting how it's not available sometimes. I'm surprised it's not available out here on the um, on the platforms. That's okay. We're gonna go check out a ship. I want to check out the ship maps. Um, let's. We will grab. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I, I have to say, though, the compass alone, just being able to, to be with your friend um, and say, hey, I'm heading bearing 030 or 19, you know, 19 or 7 or something, and then being able to track to that coordinate is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. The or, Ender, what would be cool is if I could go up to a terminal and download the platform map. Um, because, again, if you are if you want to know where you're at in the platforms, that would make sense. But um, we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. I know they talked about having being able to download portions of the map, so maybe that's what they're going to do. I'm not sure. But I can also see how maybe you, they don't want to track along the platforms, too. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Um, I will say that the um, the everything seems a little sticky, but the overall server seems kind of sticky. Um, but everything looks and feels really great. I just love seeing this new stuff, like atmosphere, gravity, radiation, pressure, exterior temperature. It, again, all going towards that actor tier two. We see a better representation of our body. I know when you do get injured in certain areas, they'll highlight really nicely here. Um, so that's all great to see. Again, I just I can't get over the maps. Okay. It's also I think they also said they don't have all the maps in yet. Um pretty sure I, I saw that, so how did I move my Moby Glass? Well I had to make sure track IR was set to move with the Moby Glass. Now when I pull it up it's over on the right hand side and I kind of have to tilt my head a little bit. I think they just have some alignment wrong. Um, I think they'll fix that though. But with track IR and when you have track IR set to move with when you're looking at Moby Glass, it, you can kind of correct for that. Did my ship not stop? What is going on? As you can see, the server has got some lag. This is not a good sign. Look. Oh, jeez. As you can see, the, the 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 lag is real. Oh, my God. 
Okay. Wow. Servers are good. I don't even think it'll open. Let's see if it... And nope. There it is. Servers are working great, everyone. I may have to get to a different server because this one is pretty rough. Ender, you missed the character creator. It's it's slick, man. It's really, really slick. Let's exit to menu. I did create a character. Oof, this, this server's pretty rough. Let's see if I unfreeze. But yeah, the character creator uh, is spot on. It looks like something that you would see in a finished game, for sure. Like it's finished game quality. They sure they could probably add some more stuff to it, but I mean it feels done. Like done. All right, let's see here. Am I just totally frozen? Which may be possible. Again, everyone, this is the first night for 3.23 EPTU, so you know it, it may not be working very well here. I'm going to try to join a different, I'm actually going to kill some apps to make sure I'm not running too much here. I'm just going to try a different server, see if we get anything better. All right. Um, Everyone, YouTube link just popped up. If you haven't gone over there and checked out the uh, Banu Merchantman uh, Shipyard episode I did, please go check it out. Um, it did okay. Didn't get a ton of views um, as compared to some of the other ones, but I was I was mostly expecting that. Um, but yeah, please go over, give it a watch, share it with your friends. I'd appreciate it. Artemis Subgram, the game looks like it's still running like it did in 2018. When do you think is a good time to come back to the game? Um, that's a good question. Well, it is running particularly rough right now, Artemis, because I'm on the EPTU, which is the experimental PTU branch, um, which is, and it's the first night and everyone's trying to get on. So it's naturally pretty rough. I will say I've, I've honestly been playing a lot lately and just on regular live servers and I've had pretty good experience. It, it like runs pretty good. Now there are some nights where it, it runs like garbage, um, it sort of just depends. You can definitely get on servers sometimes that just are terrible and you just have to go to a different server. Um, but generally I can find a good server when within one or two jumps uh, from, you know, to a different server. So it doesn't, doesn't take too long. Um, it's still mostly the same as it has always been in that. And that's because it's on the same technology. Um, uh, you know, they, there were some server meshing tests done for Evocati though. And, um, you know, they were doing tests of 400 players, 800 players at one time, which I heard didn't go too well, but, um, uh, apparently 400 players went okay for a little while and uh, people were saying performance was really good and, uh, server tick rate was really high. I think the server was getting like 17, 18, 20 FPS, uh, which for the server is great. Um, and then the client's obviously much higher. So it's a, it's a difficult question to, to answer. I would say um, if it's there, you can always try it out. And if it's still not where you want it, then take a pause. Um, there's so many big things coming down the pipe. And, and you'll have multiple opportunities this year to try things out. I, I would say, too, that when, when 4.0 launches later this year, which I think will be end of year, um, when 4.0 launches you know, it'll come with server meshing. So maybe that, maybe the performance boost at that time will be so good um, that, you know, that's all you need. You'll be happy. Okay, this seems to be a little better. Yeah, I can tell it's a, it's a lot better. Moby Glass is working much better. Yeah, yep, yeah, everything's working pretty good. All right, we'll try this. Feathers, your game won't even launch. That's not good. Sorry to hear that. I mean, until Star Citizen gets server meshing, um, until Star Citizen gets server meshing and some other tech such as like 
uh, interior ship culling and some of that stuff that's you know that they are working on it's it's just not out yet I, it's it, you're still gonna have nights that just don't run great you know what I mean but you're able to just jump servers and find the server that does work good for you and I do fully think that when server mission comes online um, later later this year probably around um, quarter three patch I, I, I do think performance is going to be good enough that people it feels like a new game to people so I feel I feel pretty confident about that but you know I've had it where I'm in a patch cycle where the game just doesn't work um, 3.9 3.11 3.13 3 um, all three of those patches I pretty much could not play the game for the most part. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of an individual experience. I think, I think a lot of it comes down to things like your own, you know, your, your, your own client computer, um, your internet connection, what kind of drive you're running off of the health of the servers. It's kind of a lot to quantify. All right. Yeah, Vulcan. Apparently, you can access Vulcan now by going into the console. Um, but it makes your Moby Glass and a bunch of other major things not work anymore because they haven't updated that, those for Vulcan yet. But apparently, Vulcan is in this 323 build. Um, and people have been trying it out. Um, but again, there's major things that are broken when you do that because it's not fully integrated yet. It's not an actual testing feature of 323 yet. Okay. Let's go grab a ship, shall we? I have to get used to hitting the, the do interact button. You see how it's just F up here now? Um, that's how you call the elevators and other button that you have to get used to hitting that. I keep pressing it and holding it, um, which is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Oof. Oh. 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 Everything's a little rough, everybody. Bear with me. I wouldn't say this is very playable right now, but we're going to give it the old college track. Oh, that was cool. On the mini-map, I actually saw my, uh, my um, elevator arrive. Alright, we will grab... Again, you can see the mini map up there. That's really cool. Let's check out the map. There you go. There's our map. I mean, yeah, this is going to be a huge game changer. Showing all the way to the vehicle kiosks, which are right here. You'll recognize all this stuff. God, this is going to make this is going to be huge. I can't even tell you how big of a deal this is. So if I wanted to get here, can I, sorry, bear with me. I want to, oh, cool. I can raise up. Sorry, I'm trying things out here. Seeing if I can. Nope, I guess I can't. I was trying to, to do a path. I've seen people do it, but I don't. I mean, it's such a huge improvement over what we had. Yeah, it, it's oh, it's going to be huge. I mean, 323 alone, even without all the server meshing tech, this is going to be a game changer for a lot of people, I think, and bring a lot of people back. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm hitting the F button. No, cargo elevators are not in yet. Okay, so not everything is functioning very well yet. Here we go. We will... Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the ASOC... Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. We will pull... We'll deliver the Carrick. Let's deliver the Carrick. Again, everything is just really slow. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Oops. Okay. Hangar 10. Yeah, I... Were there hangar banks in here? Item banks? I didn't see any, but, um... Okay. Elevator called. I'm sure they're in the regular hangars, so I'm sure, you know, when we go down there now, we'll see. But no, the, the hangar and cargo stuff is not in yet. Not, not from what I saw. Unless I totally read it wrong. Which is possible. Yeah, Ender, it is, it's really cool. The only issue is that the server, I mean, it's just, it's all playing like garbage right now. Um, Walker, I don't think so, because I think um, the ship maps are generated systemically. Um, so I don't think they had to like create anything. Um, it's generated systemically from the game files. So I think the 600i map is probably just the map that's in there. I don't. I think. It's, I don't think they'll get around to the 600i until they get back to um, until they get back to uh, yeah, or Origin. Sorry, Origin. And they're just not working on Origin right now, not to my knowledge. May, primarily too, because the 600i. Um, they're doing a lot of it's a, it's not a minor rework it's a pretty big rework and there's two variants so i think it'll be i think it'll be a while um but yeah all the maps are generated systemically from what i from what i understood okay it's going up now you see on my mini map i am on the carrick and my mini map is switched over to the carrick which is cool I will go up to the bridge and we'll pull up the, um, we'll pull up the, um, the bigger map here and see what that looks like. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I really don't think CIG is going to surprise us with any ships, um, that aren't like a straight to flight ready thing, like some new concept reveal. I, I just don't know if there's much in it for them to do that. So, as much as I'd love for them to do it, I don't think they're going to do it. Oh, wow, look at this. This will be similar to the engineering view. We might be able to switch over to Arena Commander and look at that as well. You can see all three decks here and where we are at. Man, it gives you a whole new visual of the ship. I mean, it really makes you think of things differently. <laughs> Okay, now I'm seeing how many doors are in the Carrick. Wow, that's pretty cool. I kind of want to... Um, well, let's do a little test here. Let's... Um, let's put the, I am seeing a little bit of a weird graphical bug with lights. You see that on the door, on the top of the door? The lights are doing something really odd. I don't quite know what that is. Yeah, things are just kind of not working very good either. Can't call the elevator, that's the first thing. So this one button press thing for doors is nice. Um, it's not responsive at all, but I again, I think that's because of these servers. 
but it does make getting through things a hell of a lot faster. Yeah, it's just a little sticky right now, and the elevator is not working. Well, now it is. Let's um, let's try this here. Okay, we'll head back out. Yeah, so I'm like stuck and... Oh yeah, there's some, definitely some issues here. So I am currently stuck in this view. I can't get out, which is interesting. Let's go to, what is going on? Bear with me. No, I don't think we're going to get a 600i rework. Um, if I had to guess, I think it'll be a year or two. Um, I think it's going to be a ways away. Um, are there item banks here? What are these? I thought there'd be an item bank in here. But yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be a while um, before we get the 600i rework. I think CIG also they know how much people want that. So I just again I don't see it as being something they just like stealth drop on us. They're gonna they're gonna build it up. I think they're also going to do a lot of ISCs on it and all that. I know a lot of people are excited for it. I do think the 600i is one of the coolest looking ships um, on the exterior. I don't like the interior, but again, they're redoing the interior, so maybe it'll end up being one of my favorite ships. Who knows? System. Anything is possible. Okay, let's see. Check this out. Okay, we're going to store Garrick. Let's try another ship here. Uh, let's try another ship with an, with an interior here. Um, actually, let's do the hammerhead. Let's do the hammerhead. I still think it's weird the Hammerhead's considered a Corvette. What about Retaliator? Any thoughts? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. The Retaliator is not a ship that I've ever really had a huge fondness for. It's a it's a very um, effective ship, and I and I, I I see why people like it. Um, but I've I haven't spent a lot of time in it. I did think it was a ship that desperately needed a rework. But here's the exciting thing about the Retaliator it's bringing modularity with it um so that alone is enough to get i think almost anyone excited for the retaliator even those that aren't um you know even those that aren't necessarily interested in the retaliator um the retaliator uh, modularity is going to bring um did i go with the right docking collar did anyone see i thought it said uh, docking collar one Maybe I'm wrong. Door's not open over there, so I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm docking. Oh, no, I am docking. One. That's right. I mean... Yeah, the tally... The Retaliator got a full rework. Or not a full rework, but it got brought up to gold standard. So, um, when it drops in 323 um, in May, yeah, you're going to get a new Retaliator. The internals are, are have been kind of reconfigured. Okay, it says docking port one. Let's try to re resummon it. Yeah, so um yeah, if you're a fan of the Retaliator, three two three is gonna be an awesome patch. You're gonna get modularity. I think it's coming with the cargo and the torpedo modules are the two modules coming first. 
And then they changed some rooms. They changed the docking collar. I know they widened the interior of the ship a little bit. The walkways were widened a little bit. Um, what else was changed? Yeah, and some, some other stuff changed. I can't remember. Arcane, hope you're well. Salute. Alright. As you see, everyone, the game is not working very well right now. The hammerhead's there, but it's not docked. So let's see if it docks. We'll watch. I see it out there. It's not pulling up. Maybe the hammerhead is just not gonna work. All right, we'll we'll try we'll try something else then. Um, I'm spending a little time with these maps because they're just they're so hugely important and um, like I said, kind of a game changer. Yeah, good to see you too, Arcane. Hope you're well. What did uh, John Crew say? He's definitely talked a lot about the Retaliator and ISCs over the last year. So. Um, all right, what do we? What do we? Let's try. Boop, 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 boop. Maybe. Ooh, let's. You know what? Here's a ship that I'd like to see if they did. If the map. This will tell us if maps are systemic right here. We'll do the the Reclaimer. Yeah, Alex. Also excited for three two three. Hope it works well. Um, Everything so far has been really cool. The uh, character creator is unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. Um, the maps are, are great. I still see a lot of temp stuff in the maps. So um, I, you can tell they got a lot of work to do. But um, so far, everything I've checked, I, I've seen so far is really, really cool. Oh, the 600 RV work will be shortly after the players. I don't remember them saying that. Um, other than, other than they they do want to get to it. Um, I pay attention to the ship ISCs pretty intently. I'm not saying it's not there. I just don't remember it, um, and I feel like I would have. Um, I do have a 600 I about at buybacks, um, but yeah, I don't remember them saying that. As a matter of fact. They've been pretty clear, not that they couldn't fit it in, maybe, but they've been pretty clear just in general that, you know, um, they, they want to get to, um, after the Polaris, they want to do um, the, uh, what you call it, um, the uh, Perseus and the uh, Galaxy. Let's see if I can get this cargo lift to come down. There we go. See, is it F2? Sorry, I'm checking. Oh, yep, yep, there it is. I missed the icon. There it is. Yeah, so after Polaris, they're going to go into the galaxy. And then after the galaxy, they're going to go into the Perseus. I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised they didn't flip those two and do the Perseus after the Polaris. Uh, because I feel like the Perseus is the more straightforward one to do. Um, but... I'm sure CIG has got... Oh, is that, oh, look at this. I choose where I want to go. Did you notice that? I mean, I'm fine with them doing either Galaxy or the Perseus, though, because I'll get to check them out. I have a Galaxy, and Ender has a Perseus, so... Uh -huh. Either way. Where am I? This is Habitation, I think, yeah. So you can see, you can see under maps here, here is the Reclaimer. So I think this all but guarantees that for the most part, these maps are systemic. Um, really gives you a new idea of how the layout is, doesn't it? Um, because to do all these ships, I, I can only imagine the work involved. I think it just pulls from the actual game model. And what they probably had to do from the ship model is just mark it up. So they had to mark up, you know, what, what were floors, what were, um, you know, what were uh, doors. 
And I think they had to do that for resource management anyway, because resource management, um, you know, resource management, you have to be able to control the doors and all the bulk codes and stuff. So John said the 600i was ready for scheduling, not that development would start right. For, yeah, okay, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, so I go up to this and I hold down F. I get this. I'm going to go to exit ship. Yeah, I mean, look, I think when they go back to do the 600i, um, I could see it being a little bit of a one-off because I don't know if they need to do any more origin ships. They have so many already. Um, so it could they could just fit it in when they fit it in. My only thing about it is that it requires a lot of work. The, um, the little things won't go down. The 600i... Um, As you can see, everyone, things are not working great. Um, so yeah, I think um, when they get back to origin, or when they just get back, uh, they get a sh they get a team that is available to do a pretty healthy redo of an interior. And the the thing about the 600i is that the entire interior is being redone, not just like a room here or there. Um, I believe it's every every room is being altered. So, um, I wanted to see, um, final thing, I wanted to, let's go to the main menu real quick here. I wanted to see if, um, the arena commander resource management stuff was working. At least check it out. Yeah, I that makes yeah it makes I see that um, the to me that that's the reason that the Galaxy probably should have came second, but um, is because it's more complicated because of the modularity. That's why I thought the Perseus would be first, but I'm not complaining that the Galaxy's coming first. Um, I just felt like they would probably want more time to do that, but. Who knows? They may be much farther around or much farther along on the modularity stuff than we understand. Um, I know there was a thing on leaks that talked about how apparently modularity is going to be a much bigger thing um, than even people realize to the point where there may be some modularity or some level of modularity coming to all ships, um, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, for a boy, that's also another um, interesting reason because by the time the galaxy goes into production, um, it's very possible that, um, well, by the time it gets released, it's very possible that um, um, base building will have a tier zero ready. So I could see the galaxy being needed for that. Um, all right, let's see here. Ooh, game type, custom. I understand. Game mode. Do they engineering free flight? I understand. There we go. Um, vehicle selection. We'll choose um, A2. Um, beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. I want to. Not Broken Moon. I want to do. Uh, is it Broken Moon? Dying Star. Says error. Is that right? Am I okay? Joined Benzin Um, is this not working? Oh, engineering dual, engineering fluid free flight. Go offline versus custom. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Lazy donuts to the rescue. All right, so this is 
engineering gameplay in free flight. Um, we're going to check it out. Um, it's in the arena commander. They're testing it there. Um, this is going to be my first look at the resource management gameplay. Um, so let's check it out. I don't know if I'll actually be doing anything, but we'll see. We can see our, our maps and all that kind of good stuff. Here is an engineering console. There's probably others in other parts of the ship. Um, is there no seat for the engineering console? Okay, let's check it out. Okay, oh my god, I'm getting excited. Ender, I don't know if you are getting excited watching this, but I'm getting excited just seeing engineering gameplay. Um, okay, so we have item control and room control. I'm going to go, I imagine this is components and this is uh, the other stuff, so I'm going to go to room control. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. This is amazing. So we have life support, rooms. Okay, so sorry, I'm just kind of checking things out here. So these are my connections. These are the items. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. And are you seeing this? So here's our radar component. Um, uh, click on it. We can see its health, its wear, its current uh, power being received, 6,666 6, kilowatts, and it's turned on. I can turn it off from here. Holy hell. And there, I hope you're seeing this, buddy. This uh, this gets me excited. Um, uh, both of our batteries can control those. We can also control, um, what is this, shield generator again, turn these off or on right from the get-go, guns, control over there. You can see the re the relay. Here's the relay right here. Uh, there's one out of two fuses. How does that work? One out of two. Does that mean there's one out of two here? Two out of three. One out of two. So, okay, so there could be more fuses there, I think, but they're just not, like, maybe it can run on one fuse. Does anyone know, does anyone know how we set waypoints? Let's go to rooms. Here's the door. Oops. So, okay, so I can close and open these doors. Yeah, I can't figure out how to set a waypoint either. Okay. I'm going to go find a relay. Let's go find a relay. Oh, is that a relay? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so I can pull a relay out. See how there's multiple places for multiple relays? I wonder if that's for redundancy. So you might put two relay, two relays in here or two fuses in here. So if one blows, you have a redundancy. Pretty sure everything else is mostly the same. You spawn in with a fuse in your inventory. What are these? I don't know what these are. There's a Camryo canister. What is this thing? Is that a fuse? Oh yeah, I think that's a fuse. Okay, so right now, I'm just kind of curious. So we do have, so we have a relay. More relays equal more power consumption. Okay. So, Oh, okay, so here we go. I took out that fuse. So let's check here. Oh, wow, the screen doesn't even work because it's got low power. Okay, so put a fuse in, screen works again. That's cool. So by taking out the... So think about this, people that want to get on board ships and sabotage them. That's going to be kind of wild. Okay, let's go look at other fuses or other relays. Here's another one. So these are kind of peppered throughout ships then. Here's another one. So there's quite a bit of relays on this ship. 
Are they on both sides? So, none on this side, really. Except for one here, which makes sense. We'd have a relay down here. Now this side, see, so fuses are going to be a big deal. Um, because there's a lot of them. And you're going to have to maintain a lot of them. I'm assuming there's one in habitation. Probably controls most of habitation. Like, I wonder if you take this out. The doors open? Yeah, okay, so doors will open and all that if a fuse is out. Interesting. Kitchen will open. Oh, will the kitchen not open because I got the fuse out? Oh, cool. Okay, so let's try this. So let's put the so the door won't open. I'm gonna put the fuse back in. And now we're going to try it. And it opens. Wow. That's cool. And I hope you'll be able to buy fuses really easily. That's really cool. Ender, what are your what, what's your thoughts on this? I'm really curious what your thoughts are on the engineering stuff here so far. Obviously, those fuses we'll need to uh, fix. We'll need to fix the actual components. Yeah, I'll try the new EVA right after this. Um, okay, so we have a, we have fuses down here. Is there another one on this side. I'm just kind of wondering how many you can expect. Quite a few. Quite a few. All right, let's um. All right, let's see here. I'm getting a really weird visual artifact, though. Um, that is strange. That is really strange. Okay, let's uh, try EVA. Okay, that was a smooth transition. Oh, I can tell you this is, <laughs> this is amazing. It controls so well. Oh, God, that's perfect. Yeah, Ender, it's the new EVA. It is so smooth. I mean, uh, I mean, I can move my head here and and here. Yeah, my head's moving here. Yep, no more spinning in circles when leaving a ship. It's just very intuitive. Yeah, me too. Me too, Ender. Let me uh, pull my gun. Let's see how your body fire guns now. And, oh, that's slick. That is really slick. It feels good too, Ender. It feels... Feels intuitive. Feels smooth. Watch how easily I board. No more wonkiness. I'm just coming in full speed. Instantly down. I wonder how that is it coming in. I like strange angles. God damn. That is amazing. As Ender knows, I've been complaining about EVA for a long time, especially how you get back in ships. So let's see if I come at it like an angle like this. Damn, the transition is so good. What happens if I board upside down? Let's try it. Great question, Bird. Let's try it. Coming in. It just flips you. Holy hell. 
It's yeah, it, it feels really good. Okay, that was a jump transition. So um, if you see that, like I'll come in upside down again here. Okay, flips you over. So I'm going to just jump now when I get to the end. I'm just going to straight jump. And it just transitioned me. Is there a way? So I was kind of... Yes, I'm doing like directional changes now. You can kind of get a sense of your directional change based off what your gun is doing. Um, wow. Yeah, I have to say that is like really smooth. Oh, did you see that? He put his arms out. I don't think I have a multi-tool on it. Look at this. What happens if I let me let me see if I do have a multi tool vendor? I don't think I do, but oops. Oh, yes, I do. But it's but it's uh, I don't have a tractor beam on it. Fortunately. Um, okay, what was that coming? What happens if you hug the ramp going in? Well, let's let's try it out. Puts his arm out. That's kind of funny. He just he just goes right in it. That's so cool. Let's try crouching and going out. Then you oh look at that! I was pushing along. Look at that. Now this doesn't have the EVA tier two stuff where you can grab onto things. That's not in yet. But um, we come in really high. Yeah, it just works seamlessly, everybody. It just works really, really well. Yeah, it feels like a game changer. It truly feels like a new game. Dare I say it. it, it yeah, it really does. Don't even have to think about it. I'm in. You know what I mean? Um, let me do that with a... Um, coming into a ship, guns blazing. Okay, so that was kind of interesting. So I came in pretty far over the bomb was it the bomb bay was it well it was the um it was part of the roof structure so see what it did to me there that was kind of interesting it was still smart enough to figure that out yeah that's cool in first person um it is just a smooth again you hardly know you go eva Just looking around funny here, sorry. Coming in on first person. That's cool. Obviously we have, um, yeah, that's really cool. So that combined with the fuse and resource management, I mean, all the map, everything else you saw, we're in for a brave new world. I mean, this is this is really cool. Um, yeah, this is wild. Kronos, uh, jelly bean. What, what are you referring to? Yeah, tell me what you're referring to. Yeah, this is this is crazy. I will say that this does feel like a new game. It really does. 
And I love that little attention to detail. So for example, if I take out this fuse, this screen loses power. You know what I mean? Um, which I wonder if, I wonder if I'm able to just put that down for a minute. I'm wondering if I get in the seat here. Ship won't start. I have no controls up here. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's running. Oh, okay. So I have power. The ship the ship can move. I just don't have power to my screens. That relay is... is um, Oh, okay. <laughs> so that fuse gives me my my screens essentially. So if I get out, right, grab the fuse I just put on the ground. So again, you're going to want your engineer to be coming on board with lots of fuses and lots of equipment. Let's see if he'll pick it up. There we go. And then I put the fuse back in there. see if this works I'm just curious yeah and now I have my screens so it's powering all the avionics yep that is really cool yeah that's that's amazing three two three folks there you there you go Lots of amazing stuff coming. And this didn't even check one of the biggest things, um, which is the personal hangers and instance hangers and the new cargo stuff. Um, I mean, that's going to be a game changer too. I can tell you right now, everything I've seen here just now, plus with the hangers and all that, it is going to be a new game. We are playing a new game at this point. Now, um, be great to have the additional um, server performance stuff that we know is coming, but still, that is... Pretty unbelievable, I have to say. Just checking it out on a pretty sticky server tonight, um, I have to say I'm extremely impressed. Um, engineering is going to be one of those things that I can, it's it's just going to be when I'm flying with someone, I'm going to be like, hey, if you want to take your ship, that's more than fine. I'll be the engineer. I really like that stuff. Um, I liked it even on, you know, simpler versions of it on like sea of thieves and stuff where you're like bailing water i enjoyed it so i'm going to be all about it personally um everyone i do have to run i got some work stuff i have to do tonight um uh you'll see me on this weekend uh, i may not be streaming but um i'll be doing the overdrive event with ender on friday night and um uh what else hopefully get some arm in um again Probably opening up the custom ship Patreon tier again very soon. So if you're interested in that, go check that out on Patreon. I'll at least put that in Twitch right now. Um, everyone on YouTube, there's a link to it on our YouTube channel. Um, enjoyed hanging out with you all tonight. A little bit of an off, you know, off the cuff stream. Um, kind of rough. Didn't plan a lot, but just thought I'd check out 323 real quick and thought I would bring some of you along for the ride. Um and based off what I saw, we have some something really to look forward to um, come May. Because I think we're going to get 323 right before Invictus. And then we'll get um, probably a 323X right after Invictus or during maybe. Uh, we'll see. Um, but we're, we're going into a pretty excited time. So, all right, everyone. Take it easy. I hope you all stay well. I'm actually going to... Yeah, I appreciate you all hanging out with me. I'm not going to raid anyone tonight. I've I've got, uh, uh, there's a lot of people streaming. Check them out. There's a lot of people out there streaming tonight. Um, I'm going to be a bad boy and not, uh, not share any love tonight, but I will do that next time. Everyone, take it easy. I got to go take the dog out. Have a good one. And there, we'll talk soon, buddy. Everybody have a great night. Double salute to you. Thank, for all the, thank you for all the follows and the hydrates. Thank you, Detris. You just hydrated me seven minutes ago. Let me do this. Thank you. All right, everybody. Have a great night.